Off the coast of Southeast Florida, millions of old car tires were piled up for nearly 100 miles. What was supposed to be an artificial reef that never took hold. NBC's Carrie Sanders is back with this one. Carrie, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. You know, this is a case of out of sight, out of mind. Just off here, as you noted, for almost 100 miles in between two reefs, which started out as the best of intentions, but what wound up as an ecological disaster. Just one mile from the shore in Fort Lauderdale, an estimated two million old tires. What did you think when you first saw this? These tires have been found as far north as North Carolina. It's ominous, and you just see nothing but thousands of tires. It's unreal. All of this a result of what marine biologists say they now know was a misguided effort to build an artificial reef. The first few dumps were celebrated with great fanfare. Reporter Carrie Millerick was there as they sank some of the first tires. They'll sink, stay in one place, and makes a better home for the fish who live in them. Fifty years ago, the idea seemed so reasonable, but the unknown truth was the tires were too slick and ocean currents too strong for the corals to grow. Plus, no one stopped to worry about the chemicals in the tires that would leach into the salt water. Engineers say long ago, those chemicals washed away, but the decaying tires are now breaking into bits of micropollution. The ocean is changing. Famed oceanographer Dr. Sylvia Earle was not part of the tire project back then, but says even with what we've learned about the oceans today, we're still making difficult to reverse mistakes. What have we learned about what we thought was the way to get rid of garbage, dumping it in the ocean? We're a better place today because we know what we could not know or did not know at the time. It seemed like a good idea, but it's just more garbage in the ocean. The avalanche of plastic that is now clogging the ocean and destroying so much life and coming back to haunt us. This month, divers with Four Ocean began removing tires in a 30-acre patch. It could take more than five years. We're going to get every tire we see out. You're confident? I'm pretty confident. It's estimated more than 300 million tires are thrown away every year in the U.S. A quarter are ground up and mixed into new products, like road surfaces. 12% go into landfills. Some tires find second lives, often on cars overseas. 40% are burned for fuel. The tires sitting on the ocean floor for more than four decades will be burned, which cleanup teams admit is its own form of pollution. But what those extracted tires won't do is break loose during hurricanes. When they do, the tires smash and kill coral reefs. Think of wrecking balls that are just barreling through these coral reefs. Damaging delicate reefs, an unseen dump of tires that is finally being cleaned up. Four Ocean is not a charity. They're what the IRS calls a public benefit corporation. So the way they're funding this cleanup is they take the tires and they take a portion of it and turn it into bracelets and then sell them in these containers. And the money that they get from selling the bracelets, mostly to people who believe in saving the environment, then funds what they're doing right off the coast here and what will take quite some time, guys. Carrie Sanders, just remarkable. It hurts your yes. heart to see those tires on the floor of the ocean. So glad they are getting cleaned up. Thanks so much.